Chess friends, how are you? Today I will show you the recent chess game of Magnus Carlsen, who is the goat of human chess, this is the game played in the event of titled Tuesday on Chess.com, let's see the game, Magnus started with e3, what is this? Did he was Drauk, I think his mouse was slipped, knight f6, b2, g6 by Vladimir Kramnik bishop b2 bishop g7 knight to f3 castle, what the hell are they doing? They didn't push their center pawns, ok d4, c5 to sacrifice it, pawn takes pawn queen a5 check c3 queen c7, what a useless move, he didn't take that pawn, now Magnus can play b4 which he didn't played, he played bishop e2, stupid looking move like him, we have a5 b4 to protect that pawn, knight c6, a3, here we have b6, it's a mistake move, as a grandmaster level mistakes are common thing, best was to play knight e2 to active the bishop then knight d2 d6 to sacrifice another pawn. Takes takes and black have nice tactical knights, open lines for the bishops but in our actual game, Kramnik played b6, it's a losing move because after takes takes, black have no pawn structure on there to stop white army, Magnus could play b5 which is the best move here, knight have to go back then a4 to lock the position, I am just showing you the further moves, d5 c4 bishop takes b2 takes takes bishop, takes e4 knight e6 knight d2 takes takes and white will have many advantages. First of all the passed pawn open diagonals for his pieces but in our game, Magnus missed it and played castle, they had 5 minutes clock of time, that's why maybe they are not able to find top moves, Kramnik forwarded his knight to d5 to open up the dark bishop, so queen c2 knight b6, c4, c4 move brings a threat to push his brother, in this position if you play any normal kind of move for example, queen b7, then after bishop takes g7, takes, b5 knight d7 c5 knight here queen c4, a4 rook c1 and that's it. Rook b1 is coming, this position is plus 5 for white, white pieces are mostly active and have nice pawn structure, where black pieces are so passive and useless, so, in this position we have bishop takes b2, Magnus played b5, he goes for a brilliant level, best move is to play queen b7 then after takes, move back your knight on d8, and continue your game normally by eating lowly pop, but Kramnik thought himself better than Magnus Carlsen, he sacrificed his queen, bishop, back to g7. We have rook bishop and a pawn for a queen, but Magnus is totally winning because a queen is mostly better than a rook and bishop, Kramnik didn't know it, rook b1 and rook b7 is coming to get the rank so knight b8, rook b5, if you dare to take the pawn, let me show you the variation, then rook takes knight takes takes, you will lose your rook, always think before you do any action, in chess, you have to think 3 moves ahead in every position, in this way you will become better and better and better in chess, in this position if you take the pawn then knight takes c5 will lead, toxic advancement. Let me show you the variation because I know you can't think 3 moves ahead in chess because you are an inferior human, takes, takes, queen here rook b8 queen c4, d5, this position is far better than previous variation, because everything is combined themselves as unity, queen is better than rook and bishop until you don't have a great structure and combination, so always focus to attack weak points on your opponent so your opponent will not get a time time combined his pieces as a defensive mode. If you play rook c8 to protect the knight, let me show you the variation, knight g5 knight d5, queen b5, this is coming, this is a threat, if h6 then queen will arrive on there, rook here knight takes pawn, situation will be very bad for you, you will lose the game, so back to the position we have knight d5, g3 rook c8 e4 knight f6 magnus played e5, knight returns rook takes d7 and white is too close to attack on this pawn, ok we have some other exchanges, knight goes to g5 rook f8, queen f3 missed win, best move was to play queen f6 to go like this to attack him, queen f3 also targets to this point but, rook c3 queen here, what about bishop h6, you have to move back your knight then I will pick up your pawn, bishop h6 will kick out the knight to prevent any attacks from the knight, but Kramnik didn't find bishop a6 he goes for the pawn, now face queen g4, black king structure is in a brutal attack, if may not find the attacking moves, so let me show you the variation. If black plays a4 then knight takes e6 will come, pawn takes queen takes check, here takes, 
White is completely winning because he have the past pawn and attacking moves, but in our actual game, Magnus played king g2 instead of queen g6, rook b3 but the best move was to play bishop here to kick out the knight, rook a7, he missed win, I think he had little amount of time, and chess friends, if you want to become goat in chess then you can subscribe to my youtube channel, it's a free of cost. Just click on the subscribe button, you will be blessed by me, queen f3 h6, knight takes pawn, this can't be taken because he is protected by the rook and queen, ok we have knight b4, in this position Magnus could take the pawn, let me show you the variation, knight takes check takes queen here to target this pawn, bishop blocks queen takes g6 and how do you protect checkmate. Game will be over but in our game, Magnus played queen g4 first, not bad, he is not like Kramnik, that he would sacrifice his queen for rook and bishop for no reason, ha ha ha, we have rook takes knight queen takes pawn and here Kramnik resigned the game, because checkmate is unstoppable, after king h7 queen takes rook, this is coming so rook b7, takes a4 takes, it is called checkmate, and if you subscribe to my youtube channel then you will be called stockfish subscriber, a family member of stockfish. So wish you all the best thanks for watching subscribe for more, bye bye take care see you soon.